Lion Cub Scout Christian, you are now approaching Cub Scouting's highest rank, the Weebelows. You have learned the requirements for the Tenderfoot Scout rank, you have completed your Weebelows project, and you have decided the Boy Scout Patrol of your choice. I remember the night you became a Cub Scout. You stood in the same spot. That night, a whole new world of opportunity was open to you through Cub Scouting. During these past three months, you have experienced that good feeling that comes in giving goodwill to others. This ceremony marks the completion of your Cub Scouting, just as it marks the beginning of a whole new experience in Boy Scouting. When you first became a Cub Scout, you learned that the inner meaning of Weebelows was we'll be loyal. You also learned that the letters W, B, L, and S in Weebelows stand for the three ranks of Cub Scouting, Wolf, Bear, Lion, and for Scouting. It is through these ranks that you have progressed as a Cub Scout. Soon you will be entering Boy Scouting. You were guided in your progress through these ranks by the arrow of light, which is the Weebelows emblem. Let this arrow of light continue to light your way as you move onward and upward along the scouting trail. It is now my pleasure to present to you the Weebelows badge, which you may wear on the flap of your left shirt pocket on your Cub Scout uniform. Later, you may wear it on your Boy Scout uniform. The Weebelows badge is the only badge of cubbing that the boy may wear after he becomes a Boy Scout. Patrol Leader Julie. Pack 30 is proud to give you in graduation Cub Scout Christian, holder of the Weebelows badge. It is our hope and belief that you will provide him the finest opportunity to carry on his scouting. Now may I congratulate you for the fine work you have done in Cub Scouting and extend the best wishes of the entire pack to you as you continue up the scouting trail. You may now pass under the arch. Hi. Christian, it is a real privilege to welcome you into Troop 30. As a scout, you will hike and camp. You will learn many useful things. You will have an opportunity to continue to grow into a useful citizen because you will participate in civic activities and learn the thrill of helping other people practicing the habit of doing a good turn every day. And now, Christian, you will exchange your Cub Scout neckerchief for the neckerchief of our troop, symbolic of your graduation from Cub Scouting into Boy Scouting. The end of the Cub Scouting Trail is only the beginning of a new adventure. Investiture is closed. Hi, I'm Christian. When I was a little kid, I joined Cub Scouts. And then I quit. And I'm not totally sure why I quit, and I've kind of always regretted that decision. So here's my idea. I want some adventure, but I can't become an official Boy Scout. So. I'm going to do it all on my own. I'm going to do the entire curriculum of Scouts, from Cub all the way up to Eagle, in one year. It's called Old Scout. Julie, it's our first patrol meeting. Yeah. Okay, so this week i got to become a tenderfoot? Yeah. Because my feet are tender because I haven't walked enough in the woods, right? Right, right. You're just a babe. Okay. So what do I need to do to become a tenderfoot? You must be at least 12 years of age. Got it. Check. Can I just read this whole requirement? It's, Upon it's demonstrating long. to the satisfaction of the Scoutmaster his ability to repeat the Scout Oath and Law in full and his thorough knowledge of their meaning, and upon meeting the following requirements, the boy formally subscribes to the Oath and Law and is registered as a Tenderfoot Scout and is then entitled to wear the Tenderfoot badge and the official uniform of the Boy Scouts of America. That sounds great. Yeah. Okay, so I got to know some stuff. Yep. Uh, what's the second requirement? Know the composition and history of the flag of the United States of America. Okay. What's number three? Tie the square knot and eight other knots. And then we do a ceremony? Yep. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. Requirement number 1A, repeat the scout oath and law. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country. To keep up us a butt da don't to go poop on a na. On my honor, 
I'll do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the Scout Law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Requirement number 1B, know the Scout Law. Law number one, a Scout is trustworthy. A Scout's honor is to be trusted. If he were to violate his honor by telling a lie or by cheating or by not doing exactly a given task when trusted on his honor, he may be directed to hand over his scout badge. Very harsh. Law number two, a scout is loyal. He is loyal to all whom loyalty is due, his scout leader, his home, and parents, and country. Three, a scout is helpful. He must be prepared at any time to save life, help injured persons, and share the home duties. He must do at least one good turn to somebody every day. Four, a scout is friendly. He is a friend to all and a brother to every other scout. Five, a scout is courteous. He is polite to all, especially to women, children, old people, and the weak and helpless. He must not take pay for being helpful or courteous. Six, a scout is kind. He is a friend to animals. He will not kill nor hurt any living creature needlessly, but will strive to save and protect all harmless life. Seven, a scout is obedient. He obeys his parents, scoutmaster, patrol leader, and all other duly constituted authorities. Eight, a scout is cheerful. He smiles whenever he can. His obedience to orders is prompt and cheery. He never shirks nor grumbles at hardships. Nine, a scout is thrifty. He does not wantonly destroy property. He works faithfully, wastes nothing, and makes the best use of his opportunities. He saves his money so that he may pay his own way, be generous to those in need, and helpful to worthy objects. He may work for pay, but must not receive tips for courtesies or good turns. 10. A scout is brave. He has the courage to face danger in spite of fear, and to stand up for the right against the coaxings of friends and the jeers or threats of enemies, and defeat does not down him. 11. A scout is clean. He keeps clean in body and thought. Stands for clean speech, clean sport, clean habits, and travels with a clean crowd. Clean crowd. 12. A scout is reverent. He is reverent toward God. He is faithful in his religious duties and respects the convictions of others in matters of custom and religion. Requirement number one, C. Know the scout motto. The scout motto is be prepared. Requirement number one, D. Know the scout sign. Requirement number 1E, e, know the scout salute. Requirement number 1F, know the significance of the badge. While the scout badge resembles the French fleur-de-lis, it is really the sign of the north taken from the mariner's compass. The three points, like the three fingers of the sign, refer to the three points of the scout oath. The two stars symbolize the ideals of truth and knowledge, which are foundations for strong scout citizenship. The eagle is the national emblem of the United States of America. It symbolizes freedom and readiness to defend that hard-won freedom. The scroll at the bottom of the badge is turned up at its ends like a scout's mouth because a scout smiles as he willingly does his duty or enjoys his play. The knot at the bottom of the badge, a simple overhand knot, is a reminder that a scout does a good turn to someone daily. Requirement number one, G. Know the significance of the uniform. The uniform is a token that the scout belongs, that he is now part of the biggest boys organization of its kind that the world has ever seen. The scout uniform symbolizes the boys' obligation to measure up to a high standard of character. The scout uniform stands for service. It means you are ready, prepared to help others. The uniform signifies democracy. Each scout wears the same uniform and meets brother scouts on the same level. It stands for outdoor life. The color and design of the hat, the shirt, and the shorts make the uniform the clothing of the outdoorsman. The neckerchief is characteristic of the scouts the world over. The pioneers, or cowboys, wore bright colored scarfs around their necks for protection against the rays of the sun and against the sandstorm. The neckerchief protects a scout in a similar manner. Every scout must belong to a patrol. Most patrols are made up of eight scouts. Mine is made up of me and Julie. Every patrol must have a symbol. I have chosen the symbol of the beaver because it is a hard worker, and also it is cute, and also it has a great tail, and also it builds dams, which are awesome. Here's the beaver patrol badge that Julie embroidered last night at 1 a.m. Requirement number two, know the composition and history of the flag of the United States of America. Here's a little look back at our episode about flag history. Achievement number two, cheese. <laughs> The first flag of the United States, a combination of the British flag and 13 stripes. 13 stripes, 13 stars, 
on a blue field. This is known as the Betsy Ross flag. In 1795, Kentucky and Vermont became a state. And now there is 15 stripes and 15 stars. So they decided to go back to 13 stripes forever and every time a new state was added to add a new star. Our current flag, 50 stars <laughs> and 13 stripes representing 13 yeah. colonies. <laughs> Requirement number three, tie some useful knots. Tie the square knot in any eight of the following knots. Sheep bin, bowline, fisherman's, sheep shank, slip, clove hitch, timber hitch, two half hitches, carrick bend, miller's knot, rope halters, pipe hitch, stevedore, barrel hitch, girth hitch, binder twine bend, lariat loop, hitching tie. This is the bite, and this is a loop. Standing part is the long end of the rope. Sometimes it isn't used at all. Sometimes it is the part around which the rope end is turned, as in making hitches, for example. Is that it? Ah! They're snapping at us. Are we supposed to feed them? Are they expecting food from us? All right, so I'm going with my first knot. It's called the stevedore. I wrap it around. I wrap the end around, no, the standing part. Then I pop that in, whoopsie. Here we go. One down. Make it this. Pop this through. Then go with this guy back through here. That's it. Huh. That's not right. That's not right? No. <laughs> oh, 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 I, yeah, okay. Shush. <laughs> Up and around and over the shoulder. Go no, wrong back. again. <laughs> the same thing you did last time. What? This is right, sheep bend. Used for tying together two ropes of different thickness. I'm making quick work of these gnats. About to make quick work. This muchacho. Muchacho. Let me holler at this slip knot. Do you remember what was your favorite band in high school? Hoobastank. Hoobastank? No. <laughs> this is a perfect response to <laughs> when I'm fishing for slip knot and you serve up. Hooba stank? Just a bunch of pretzels. No, it really is. It's two overhand knots. I like yes. that. I like now, that. Okay, I'm so excited. I love this knot. Tighten the knot. And now, look. Now you can pull the different ends. Pull. There you go. Oh, yeah. Now it goes down real short. Then it goes out real long. Isn't that such a cool knot? I love that. Ooh, that's the tingles. That's, that's as far forward as you can lean. It looks like you haven't quite learned to sit <laughs> properly. I don't think I have. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap this sucker through this fish tail, through the curly cue, outside the other bun. Uh oh. <laughs> I did, happens. that was like a magic, uh, accidental magic trick. <laughs> How did you do that? I don't know. Oh, uh, okay. That looks, that looks right. Got my carrot bend. Wrap it around. There we go. How about that? It's like a little witch's broom. Classic bowline. I do this, and it does not look like that. You're gonna take this, and you're gonna flip it over, and look. Then I tuck it around here, and then go in. Boom. 
bowline. This is Larry's loop, aka Lariat loop, Lariat. aka Lariat loop. This one's easy. You go soup, soup. That's just a knot. And then back through here. No. No. Okie doke. Lariat loop done. That was the last knot. Now I can just enjoy the rest of my muchacho. Christian, before you are three currently extinguished candles. These symbolize the three parts of our scout oath which every tenderfoot is required to take as he passes through the portals which lead to the realm of scouting achievement. The first and tallest candle represents the first part of our sacred obligation. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the scout law. Service is the keynote of the second part of the oath and exacts a solemn promise to help other people at all times. By obeying the scout law and by doing a good turn daily, you prove yourself a scout and do your part to make this a happier world. Character is the keynote of the third part of the oath and is bound up in the pledge to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. You owe it to yourself to take care of your body so that it will serve you and make it possible for you to help others. You owe it to yourself to develop the brains that were given to you by striving to increase your knowledge and by making the best possible use of your abilities. You owe it to yourself to aim to become a person of strong character, ready to take your place in the world as a capable citizen. The Scout Law is the foundation on which the whole Scout movement is built. In the Scout Law are expressed the ideals a Scout puts before himself. There is something about the Scout Law that makes it different from other laws. Most other laws start with a do or don't, not the Scout Law. The Scout Law is a statement of facts. A Scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, reverent. You have now been reminded of the laws with which you will govern your life as a scout. It is now necessary for you to answer several questions. Are you willing to do everything in your power to fulfill the requirements of this scout program and constantly to seek to measure up to the motto of be prepared? I am. Will you be loyal to your troop and patrol? I will. Is there anything in the scout oath or the law that you do not understand? Nope. Are you willing to pledge yourself on your honor to keep the oath and practice the law? I am. Then you are permitted to take the solemn oath. You will give the scout sign and repeat after me, inserting your name after I. On my honor, I will do my best. On my honor, I, Christian Strevey, will do my best to do my duty to God and my country to do my duty to God and my country and obey the scout law and obey the scout law to help other people at all times to help other people at all times to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. To keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Now that you have taken the oath, by zero authority vested in me, I make you a tenderfoot scout. May your progress be upward and onward as you travel over <laughs> trails of scouting. <laughs> Investiture is closed. Before everything blows away. <laughs> like a monsoon. Mm-hmm. <laughs>